Hello. <laughs> and today I'm going to be talking about Sagittarius. Okay, so um, Sagittarius is the ninth sign. It is also ruled by the ninth house. Uh, the ninth house has to do a lot about um, thinking big. It's about expansion, higher learning, higher consciousness. Okay, so Sagittarius. Sagittarius is, um, they're a very optimistic sign. Um, my boyfriend is a Sagittarius, actually. My boyfriend <clears throat> is very noble. Um, they tend to be very, very, very noble people. Uh, my grandfather is also a Sagittarius. The really good traits that they have is that they are very sensitive to how people feel. Um, a Sagittarius is a type of person that if you're in a supermarket and you know, there's, or, or anywhere really, out in public, and there's a lot of people around them, they're the type of people that will be more conscious of what is going on outside of them in order to accommodate for other people. Like, they'll usually be the ones that let you go in through the door first. They're usually that'll move their carts, you know, in like in a, in a supermarket, uh, you know, in order for you to pass by. They're the ones that'll prevent yours from hitting theirs so that there's nothing going on that's that's wrong. They're, they're very much like that. At least these are the Sagittarians that I have met. Hey, babe. What's up? What are you doing? Loving hair, wearing the clothes. Oh. So what you're getting? Um, you know that I didn't go, right? Yeah, I'm Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Are you gonna go? Uh, you should. No. Your family's there. No. I got a close family. You should go. Why? Because they didn't go away. Pero vete allá y coge una paella para los dos. No, it's not. So. Hey, we have like two dollars. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't know. We'll go together when you get here. All right. Love you. Bye. Okay, that was a Sagittarius for you. See, a Sagittarius wouldn't, not that they wouldn't want to be with their family, is that they'd rather do what they want. That's what a Sagittarius wants to do. They want to do what they want. Um, and it's not that Sagittarians are not family oriented because a lot of them are. Um, I think it has to do more with how they feel and what they feel like doing in that very moment. And, you know, I tell them, go over there, there's food there, you can bring it over here. No, I got it. I only got $10, but you're hungry. I'm going to go to you. I'm going to go back to you. Because that's what I want to do, you know? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I feel like doing. I'm going to go be with my girl. I've been at work. I'm tired. And I just want to sit back and chill and not look at anybody's face. His mood is in Leo, though, so. Maybe that has, he has, like, a little, like, lazy streak to him. Um, uh, your more typical Sagittarius will have tons of energy, go wherever it is. Um, like I said, even though they, they like to do whatever they want, when they want, because there's no rules and nobody can control them. <laughs> they still would have picked up their energy and gone to have a good time and talked and expand themselves and, and have fun. But maybe over there is not so much fun. Maybe that's... Yeah, you know, that's actually why he's not going. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. It was a family thing, so it makes perfect sense. <laughs> Sorry, I moved. It was getting really uncomfortable sitting on the floor. So, I think I'm going to tie my hair, so I don't touch it anymore. Hey, Puka. Much better. I always end up picking it up. Always. Back to Sagittarius. Believes in people. Sagittarius, I think that they have, a lot of people want to call it a blind faith in people, but I don't think that it's so much as a blindness that they have. I think it's more because they believe in everything. They believe in themselves. They believe in people. They believe that Everything happens for a reason. It's something that you will always hear Sagittarius say. Because they like to gloss over their problems. And <laughs> but a Sagittarius wants to be believed in as well. A Sagittarius wants to, to know that everybody is on the same boat. That everybody is... They're going to make it. 
and not just that they're going to make it, but that everybody is going to make it to the top with them. That everybody is going to be successful in everything. Even if you aren't successful, they'll usually be the ones to tell you what is success anyway. They are philosophical. Sagittarius is, they live in their heads a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Um, they're very great thinkers. They are problem solvers. They like to solve problems. In fact, when in like a conversation of, of somebody going through pretty much anything, they will contribute. They will always give you advice. And they will usually tell you to just get over it. <laughs> that's how positive and that's how optimistic they want not only for the situation to be and for how, how they want to see it, but they also want everybody else to see it like that also. And, um, and they're very noble. They're... They try to better themselves every single day. They're very conscious of what they do. They, they learn about their mistakes a lot. Um, if somebody tells them, they could be a little bit um, blind to themselves. They're, they're, what I mean by that is that they are very quick to, to judge about someone else. But let's say they have those, or they share those same types of qualities. They will usually see it more in others than they do in themselves because they always strive for perfection. They think somewhere inside of that, I mean, being a fire sign and all and all, but you'll come to, to, to find that fire signs are, are probably like the most egotistical, not because they're, not only because they're selfish, but also because they have a high ego. They're the best. They're flamboyant and they're bubbly and they're out there and they're extroverted and they're the best. Vegetarians are not so easy with criticism. But when it comes to criticizing my boyfriend, he just does not take very kindly to criticism. He doesn't. No matter how much I tell him that I'm helping him out, no matter how much I tell him that it's constructive and it's, it's not used to hurt him or bring him down, he will always feel offended and take it to another level of, of advice for him. Um, but yeah, I mean, but a lot of times also, I'm, I'm trying to think about my grandfather when I think about Sagittarius. When I can also think about someone else when I think about Sagittarius because I, I had a, an aunt, an aunt, sorry. Uh, she was a Sagittarius, a Sagittarius as well. So I can reference her also. But I'll go ahead with my grandfather first. My grandfather is the type of person that you don't need to ask him for help. You don't need to ask him for financial help or anything. If you come to him with an issue, if you come to him saying, I'm having problems over here or over there, he could be doing anything. He, he usually reads when you tell him something and then he'll just automatically like, t like give you a, a shout out, like, oh, you know, this isn't right. Or, you know, this person's doing you wrong. Like he has like this, this sense for people. Um, usually when they don't even have to be in front of him, he just knows. You know, he's also very old and very wise as well. He's lived amongst my ears. But I've seen that a lot with him. You could tell him that somebody did this or this or this or that, and he can actually predict what they're about, what their motives are. And um, they've came true. They've came true because I know, for example, when my dad, my dad is an entrepreneur, and my dad has to involve a lot of people in his attributes and in his successes and, and his ideas and a lot of things that he does. And... It came true that when my grandfather has told him that such and so person, after my father has told him that has done this or that, my grandfather has said, okay, well, what I think this person is doing is this and this and this. It came true. Effectively, it's happened just the same way. His motives were on point. His, well, what he was about was, was, was correct. Um, what he was all about, what the, the, the person ended up saying or doing, any little thing. He's predicted. He's been very much on point with those things. In fact, my father has had a lot better guidance because of him in that area to the point where my father has made it a note that whenever he's going to want to progress or move forward with somebody in his companies, he's made it a note to always bring that person to my grandfather. My grandfather can just, like, he can see through people or something. He just knows, like, where the person's emotions lie. Like, he can pick up, I don't know if it's because maybe my grandfather is such an honest man to God that, you know, he kind of compares. I'm trying to figure out how he does it, but I can only think of that, that he is such an honest person with himself and to everybody. And he's so noble and he is so good 
he's just such a good person that anything that doesn't align to his standard is automatically like off it's it's a little bit like this or like that like if it's not if it's not the way that he would say it or do it then it's not because he thinks that he's perfect it's because he really is a genuine man to god he's just an honest he's a great person he's just he's awesome um and if that person just doesn't fit that part like he would he automatically just knows that person is a complete and utter no-no that person is no good. That person has nothing to bring to the table. That person, all, all they want to do is take, 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 take. Um, and my grandfather would tell you, he's been taking advantage of white a lot, being a Sagittarius and all. And it's not because people take advantage of him, it's because he is so giving. So, um, now for my aunt. My aunt was a very, she was different than my grandfather, but they had a lot of things in common. What they had in common was that they always helped everybody. My aunt would give to every person in Africa. She would receive photos in the mail of little boys in Africa that she was helping out. And they would take pictures and they would write her letters and everything. And that would just make her so happy, just having that come in the mail. That would make her like the happiest person in the world. She was very, very jolly. My grandfather isn't jolly. He's more, more serious. Um, But he's a jokester. He has a really good sense of humor. But my... My aunt, oh, her moon was in Pisces also, a double Jupiter, imagine. But my, my aunt, you would, she would just always greet you with a million kisses and a thousand smiles and made you feel like the most special person in the whole entire world. But that's because she was so special. She had that specialty about her. Um... She always offered you to make you something. I, I remember I used to go to her house and she would just always be like, do you want cookies? Do you want food? Do you want something to drink? Da -da 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 -da. Like she was so attentive to everything that like like nothing like nothing that could possibly mm, all of your worries, just being around her would go away. Because she would take on all your problems on herself. Not very healthy, but she would. That's how she was. And it's not just with me that she was like that. She was like that to the neighbor. She was like that to the dogs. She was like that to anything, a human, a, a dog, or whoever. She was just always taking on the world on, on, on top of her. She wanted to be the person that can help you over here, over there. She was just all over the place. All over the place. To the point where she would, I feel like, in a sad way, lose herself. Because you give away too much of yourself way too much and it kind of sounds like i mean a little bad to say like you shouldn't give too much of yourself but you just have to have boundaries sometimes i mean if people are not giving to you they're taking from you so um oh, I these things out. Uh, oh. okay okay you are no puka already Introduced him. Hola. Just need a bite. Shut up. Okay, bye guys. Please leave a, li a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs>